Hello and welcome to the NBS show, episode number 266. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. I'll be flying solo for this week because, well, last week we all mentioned he was going LARPing and everyone else seems to be pretty busy. So I'll be doing this alone. That's gonna be interesting. So anyway, let's just hop right into it. Starting out, we got the first news. Um, Discovery Family just released its press show for July and it seems that ponies won't be airing in July. Last week we mentioned that on the 17th where Not Asking for Trouble will be the last season 7 for the first half of the season. The second part of the season won't be known yet. People have been assuming it could be in July, but it's not in July. What's going to be taking up that slot is the three Quest Regal special. I think that was Dance Magic, Movie Magic, and Mirror Magic. All will be airing one week apart of each other. So, starting in July, like I mentioned before, two Equestria Girl special will be aired there. Um, I'm assuming we're going to get a probably three months hiatus. So we'll be getting ponies in September, probably. And talking about Equestria Girls, it seems that we'll be getting more special this time around. Last week I mentioned that a certain someone from the Twitters went to some licensing expo and reported in that they will be some Equestria Girl special. Uh, I, I'm, I'm totally forgetting. I should really check the show notes. Ah, my bad. It was not Equestria Girls, but um, Season 8. The same person went to the licensing expo and revealed that Season 8 will be coming with 26 new episodes starting in spring of 2018. Um, but this is an update to that expo, which is we'll be getting more Equestria Girls. Not sure how many specials we're going to get. But anyway, um, more Equestria Girls fun because I do like that brand. And going on to old news, remember when we mentioned about the Leo Awards? In that previous episode, we mentioned that the show got nominated for Best Sound in an Animation Program or Series. And the other one was Best Musical Score in an Animation Program or Series. So the results are in and it seems that My Little Pony Friendship is Magic won Best Sound in an Animation Program or Series. So congratulations them, go them, woohoo. They won and looking at the news here... Uh, the one for best sound animation program for 28 pranks later. So yay, awesome them. Um, and I think that this is not the end yet because it seems that best musical score voting is going to be on June 3rd. Um, Daniel Ingram and Slap Chun are nominated for their work in Hearts Forming Tale. So good luck for them. I do hope they win because the Hearts Forming Tale um, song series was pretty awesome. And last but not least on today's news, and since we're on the topic of music, I don't know how to approach this because um, usually I would bounce back with somebody over here so we can make some kind of bantering joke about hip-hop or culture, or what is it, pop culture and stuff, yeah. But since I'm alone and I don't really 100% know music, so I'm just going to go out and say it. Lincoln Park Mike Shinoda tweeting about ponies. W- what can I say? <laughs> so anyway, um, if you've got no idea who Lincoln Park is, they are a alternative metal rock band kind of thing. That They were really popular in the early 2000s. Like songs like um, Numb and... Other things I don't really remember because I just remember the songs. But still, um, they're popular and people seem to really like them. And when we say people really like them, um, we got a dedicated pony animator animating one of their songs. And I think this is from one of their newer albums, uh, Invisible. And yeah. Somehow this caught the eye of Max Shinoda and he retweeted it. <laughs> and wow, it seems that a lot of people are, uh, how's the word, impressed, astonished, shocked, I-, I don't know. And 
it seems that Mike Kier knows about this for years. And I, I don't know. I'm, I'm speechless as it is right now. But still, I do like this. And I've seen the animatic. And the song is pretty good. I won't say that I hate Linkin Park or I'm a huge fan. I just like their song. And if I like a song, I like a song. Hmm. So, if you guys at home would like to see how this cinematic is, it's only about a minute long. So, go hop onto the show notes and look at it. Because it's really fun. It's really fun and really entertaining. And I do highly recommend listening to the full version of the song. It's really cool. And, well... This has been a solo week for me where I don't do much and I just read the news in things that have entertained me this week personally. Um, nothing new really besides a rehash of things I've done from Overwatch to Payday to, well, just a long one, Street Fighter. New character Ed came out, so I've been playing that a bit. But other than that, um, nothing new really. Um, I do wish I can add in new things. Um, well, you know what? Um, this is nothing to do with pure entertainment, but more of a gadget sense. Where I recently bought a DJI Osmo mobile gimbal. Uh, what that is? Um, it's a stabilizer for your camera. In this scenario here, it's for my mobile phone. I'll hook it up to the gimbal and. It becomes, uh, well, a really stable camera. It takes really, well, I won't say it takes good photos because it's dependent on the phone itself. I'm currently using an iPhone 5 and the picture quality is okay, but the tools that it gives me for the gimbal are not up to par with what I can get with an iPhone 6 and higher. But still, I highly enjoy the device itself. Uh, I've been planning to do some videos at Project C PonyCon when I do go there. And who knows, maybe I'll video something to show to the channel. Um, one of the few plans are to try and interview some VAs if that's possible. Um, and if you guys don't know, Michelle Krieber and also Andrea Lipman are going to Project C PonyCon. Um, Andrea Lipman plays Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy and also Miss Pomel. And also we got Michelle Krieber. She is the voice of Apple Bloom and the singing voice for Sweetie Belle. And having them there is really awesome. I can't wait to meet them in person. Um, this would be my first time meeting them and getting a chance to talk to them would be awesome. So anyway, uh, that's what I've done with my, well, technically not really done anything, but still, um, that's something new to entertain me. And who knows, if it's good for the channel, it's good for the channel. But anyway, um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the mbashowgmail.com. And also you can reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at BS Show. And you can reach me personally at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVLive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you don't mind, please do follow our other project, the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. What we do there is we review the Pony episodes, comics, movies, and have general discussion about everything Pony. And on certain occasions, we do talk about other things than Ponies. We like to talk about probably game, anime, uh, movies that we watch. Also have general discussion about stuff in general. One of the few things that I remember last we did was talk about MLP's lore after Lauren left. If you're interested in listening to that, go hop on into the links. Um, everything will be there tidy for you to click and follow. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MPS show. We have some rewards and those rewards are the awesome tip jar. For a dollar, you get a shout out at the end of the show with my utmost gratitude and also full access to all the deleted episodes and early access to the review and discussion podcasts. And we also have this thing called the Amazing Tip Jar. 
For five dollars, you'll get the same thing, but with more gratitude. And well, whatever's below. It sounds silly, but I really, really appreciate your guys' support because without you guys, I don't know what I. Let's just say this: you guys make me feel special. Thank you very much. And saying about thank yous, I like to thank Lurker Cat, Twilight Genesis, Lem Dragosaurus, Starstream, and Master of Lag. Thank you guys for the support. It really means so much to me. And getting to chat up with you guys is just awesome. Like it's it's beyond words. I I I I <laughs> uh, I, I, I uh, wow. I'm at loss for words. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. It really means a lot. Anyway, I have been your host, Norman Sanzo, your only host for this week, and now we will join you guys with another amazing and more packed episode with more people to banter around, so I don't sound like a crazy person talking alone because you got no idea how hard talking alone is. <laughs> it's scary. Anyway, see you guys. <laughs>